in brains, there are all of these neurons and they make connections with each other. So they talk to each other and communicate with each other. And the really strong idea, strong hypothesis, is that everything in a brain, all the memories of that brain, the personality of that brain, the skills, fears, etc., is in the map of those connections. So that if you knew the map of those connections, you could figure out all of these other things about a brain. What I'm deeply interested in is how brains grow up. How is it that humans are born basically just helpless and hapless and every one of us turns into something where we kind of dominate our local environment so what my lab works on is trying to figure out ways to map the connections in brains and that's called the connectome there's a lot of engineering challenges uh, so for example it turns out that the only way you can fit a trillion of something into something this size is to make everything extremely small. And then the real problem has emerged, which is that to collect a map of those connections, let's say not even a brain, but one one thousandth of a mouse brain would still be something like two million gigabytes of data. And that's more data than has been collected in the history of the world. Just so you know that the entire genome could fit on one or two thumb drives. Just a millimeter cubed would fit on 400,000 thumb drives. And just that small volume is much more complicated than we'd ever imagined, which is good because it means we have to account for this. Our theories have to get better. Our data has to get better. And a real possible breakthrough is that when we do a brain, we'll find a motif, meaning here are six kinds of cells that are always connected together in the same pattern. And when you repeat that pattern again and again and again, you build up a brain. And if you can get those rules from looking at a adult connectome and a baby connectome, then I think you've gone a long way to understanding what it means to be human.